Hello and happy day! Have you reminded yourself to slow down today, to reduce the noise, to listen? My name is Igor SF Walker and I'm here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today, we look at the One Sentence Persuasion Course by Blair Warren. Now, people will do anything for those who encourage their dreams, justify their failures, ally their fears, confirm their suspicions, and help them throw rocks at their enemies. Now, in encouraging their dreams, Parents often discourage their children's dreams for their own good in an attempt to steer them towards more reasonable goals. And children often accept this as normal, until others come along who believe in them and encourage their dreams. Now when this happens, who do you think has more power, parents or complete strangers? Now in justifying their failures, while millions cheer Dr. Phil as he tells people to accept responsibility for their mistakes, millions more are looking for someone to take the responsibility off their shoulder, to tell them that they're not responsible for their lot in life. And while accepting responsibility is essential for gaining control over one's own life, assuring others they're not responsible is essential for gaining influence over theirs. One need look no further than politics to see this powerful game being played at its best. Now, in allying their fears, when we are afraid, it is almost impossible to concentrate on anything else. And while everyone knows this, what do we do when someone else is afraid and when we need to his or her attention? That's right, we tell them not to be afraid. And we expect that to do the trick. Does it work? Hardly. And yet, we don't seem to notice. We go on as if we had solved the problem, and yet the person before us fades further and further away. But there are those who do realize this and pay special attention to our fears. They don't tell us, do not be afraid. Instead, they work with us until our fears subside. They present evidence and offer support. They tell us stories, but they do not tell us how to feel and expect us to feel that way. When we're afraid, which type of a person do you think you would want to be with? On confirming their suspicions, one of our favorite things to say is, I know it. There's just nothing quite like having our suspicions confirmed. And when another person confirms something that we suspect, we not only feel a surge of superiority, we feel attracted to the one who helped us make this surge come about. Hitler, for example, confirmed the suspicions of many Germans about the cause of their troubles, and that drove him further into power. Cults often confirm the suspicions of prospective members by telling them that their families are out to sabotage them. It is a simple thing to confirm suspicions of those who are desperate to believe them. And finally, on helping them throw rocks at their enemies. Nothing bonds like having a common enemy. And I do realize how ugly this sounds, yet it is true just the same. Those who understand this can utilize this. Those who don't, or even worse, understand but refuse to address it, are throwing away one of the most effective ways of connecting with others. No matter what you think of this, rest assured, people have enemies. And all people do. It has been said that everyone you meet is engaged in some sort of a struggle. Now, the thing that they're struggling with is their enemy. Whether it is another individual, a group, an illness, a setback, a rival philosophy, or even religion, or what have you, when one is engaged in struggle, one is looking for others to join. Those who become more than friends become partners. What people really care about is themselves. Can you imagine how much energy you will free up when you stop focusing on yourself and put attention on other people? Can you even imagine how much more charismatic you will become when you come to be seen as one who can fulfill some of these most basic emotional needs? One people rarely resist is someone trying to meet their needs. And when someone's needs have been met, a bond is often forged and a natural desire to reciprocate has been created. As powerful as two-word strategy validate and fascinate is, 
the next strategy is even more powerful, but in a negative way. This two-word strategy, correct and convince, strategy so common, so entrenched, that we sometimes don't even tend to recognize it, yet it is all around us all the time. And worse, it is often coming out of us all the time as well. Despite what we have been thought, fascinating others is one of the easiest ways in the world if you do it within the context of validation. So use the strategy, validate and fascinate. And in that order too. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, share it with the world, subscribe to my channel, and you can find a direct link to this book in the description below. Get it and read. Thank you. Love and respect.